Hi, this is lesson number 29 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about vanishing point in Photoshop. We will be learning how to add text, picture, logo based on the background image perspective. Here I have uh, some images for demonstration. In this image, you can see the signboard. We can add the text here based on this perspective using vanishing point. The first thing we are going to type text. So here in our toolbox, this is text tool. Select the text tool and simply click in your image. We can type our text. The font style and color uh, that is OK. Click on move tool and place our the signboard. Somehow this is OK, but it is not matching the perspective of the display. So simply we need to select the pixel from this text. Here we have layer and this T is indicating that this is a text layer. If I will right click here, we will get all option associated with this text layer. But if we will right click on the T on this thumb, we will get different options and here we have select pixels. If I will click on select pixels, from that text Photoshop selected pixel, go to edit and simply click on copy. Now the text is copied as a pixel object. And here you need to make sure that before you set the vanishing point, you deselected your text. Otherwise, Photoshop will just view the pasted element in the selection and you will not see any more around in the image. So we need to click on select and deselect. We copied the text as a pixel object and it is loaded. We can switch off this layer. If we will select this layer and directly paste the image under vanishing point, it will be part of the background. So it is good idea to create new layer. We will create new layer. New layer is selected. Go to filter, vanishing point. Vanishing point dialog box is open and here we have create plan tool. You can also use the shortcut letter C. By default, it is selected. Now we need to create our plan. So simply I will click Now the plan is created. Sometimes you need to adjust if the grids are yellow or red. Now look at this. We have yellow grid. Simply Photoshop doesn't like perspective the way we added. So we need to adjust a little bit. And even if it is red, you need to adjust. Once it's blue grid, it's mean accepted. Now we can paste the copy text. Just press Control V. Control V from the keyboard. And the text is here. We want to make it big or small, we can even do it here by pressing Ctrl T, you can activate the transform control. Here we can rotate and resize this way. And if we want, we can just bring it inside our perspective plan. We can resize from top. Now here, if you want to resize from this side, you can just move it this way. I'm just going to locate it in this corner and then click OK. Since we created new layer, so it is on the new layer as a pixel object. Now our vanishing points are there. If we want, we can add another image. This image I want to place all the way on the signboard. So the first thing we will select all, edit, copy. In this image, we are going to add new layer. So click on the background layer because I want under Y and tutor. So we'll add layer. Now on layer 2, we are going to place that image. So go to filter, vanishing point, press Ctrl V. By pressing Ctrl T, we can resize and just bring over the plan. We can resize, we can adjust. Click OK. Now we added text and image. Same way we can add logo also. Here I have a Y and Tutor logo and this is a PNG image. To make selection with a PNG, same way you need to right click here 
and click on select pixel. So, exactly the logo is selected. Click on edit, copy. Now, it is loaded on our clipboard. Come back to this image and if you want to place an independent layer, you can create new layer. Go to filter, vanishing point. Our plan is already there, control V. So, here we have a logo, control T. Just resize it and place our the plan and we can adjust. That is fine. Click OK. Now, we place text, image and logo and all of them are with the same perspective of the signboard. To make it a little bit more realistic, we can change the blend mode of this background image. Here we have from normal to multiply or darken. So, it will match a little bit with the surface of the base image. Another thing we can do, we can keep the text with the text attribute. We have text, but this text is just raster object. We cannot change the font style, font color. There is another way. Here we have text. This is the text previously we have. If I will turn on this layer, this is default text. The first thing we are going to convert this text to smart object. So, right click in this area in the layer and click on convert to smart object. Now, pressing control key, we can just distort to change the perspective this way. But to match the perspective with this signboard, we need to use another trick. Control Z, just leave the smart object text as it is. Enter, select the background image. We can create new layer. Now, this layer is our the background image. I want to bring above layer 2. So, it will be visible in our canvas. Now, in this layer, if I want, I can render the vanishing point grids. We will go to the filter, vanishing point and here we have grids. It is simple. If we want to bring these perspective grids to the layer, simply we will click here and click on render grids to Photoshop. Make sure it is checked and then click OK. Now, same grid we have here on layer 4. We can rename, but these grids are not really fully functional grid. If I will click on this text and bring it here, it will not work. So, this text is smart object. By pressing control key, I can match hit enter. Since it is a smart object, if we want, we can change the text. We can double click here. It is Y and Tutor. If I want, I can change. Just select this text. You can change the color. And if we want, we can change the font style, but I will leave it as it is. We can type different text. Learn to improve. But here our canvas is small. It is easy to fix. Click on crop tool. Click this side. The canvas is expanded. Click and drag till the end. So, this is how we have entire text in our canvas. Hit enter. Click on file. Save. You can close this smart object document. And here you can see now the text has been changed. Using move tool, if we want, we can adjust. This way, we apply perspective manually by converting our text to smart object and it is having text attributes. Anytime we want, we can change the text, we can change the font style, font color. But here in our canvas now, we have perspective grids. Since we have layer, so anytime we want, we can turn off the layer to hide the perspective grid. This is the basic of vanishing point in Photoshop. In the next lesson, we will be learning more in depth. We will add vanishing point on the multiple faces. We will change the blend mode. Also, we will use blend if feature to match the surface from the background image. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification. So, you will be notified every time I upload new video. Thank you.